if there is a mechanical student who is watching us right now what possible options are available in germany All right, so if you're a mechanical student, this video is for you. I'm sitting here with a bunch of students who are currently studying in Hochschule Nordhausen, specifically yes. renewable energy systems. Make sure that you watch today's video till the end. Start with your introduction, then we'll go to others. Oh, hello, guys. My name is Ailesh Bharati. I'm from Vishakhapatnam, Andhra Pradesh. I graduated as a mechanical engineer from Geetam University, Vishakhapatnam. My CGPA is 8.7. Work experience of 12 months in Coromandel International. It's a chemical uh, fertilizer firm. I worked as a maintenance engineer as a a graduate engineer training. Hi, my name is Rohan Matthew. I come from Hyderabad, currently doing my master's in renewable energy systems. Done my bachelor's in mechanical engineering from Vidya Jyoti Institute of Technology, Hyderabad. Okay. CGP was 8.5. Hi, my name is uh, Pujari Gopal Kuruba. I am came from Anantapur, Andhra Pradesh. I completed my bachelor's in mechanical engineering. My CGP is 8.7. Hello, uh, my name is uh, Sai Venkat. I came from Vishakhapatna, Andhra Pradesh. I completed BTEC in mechanical engineering from Vignan University. I got the CGP of 9. Currently, I am pursuing master's in renewable energy te technology. Hi, my name is Vinod. Jado. I completed my uh, bachelor's in mechanical engineering in Valtech University, Chennai. After that, I started my own coaching institute where I did uh, five years. Then I came here for the master's program. Now I am doing my master's in renewable energy systems from Hochschule in Nordhausen. Quick question. If there is a mechanical student who is watching us right now and he has a decent CGPA, which master's program will this person be eligible to apply to? Like give us like different streams. Actually, like uh, he can get into any stream but not uh, completely like it's 20 30 percent that's it and remaining all depends on its uh, his resume overall profile you're yeah, saying overall profile, overall profile yes right right so he's trying to say that professors are not only looking at your cgpa yeah. but they're also looking at what have you done other than that right so research paper is one of them given yeah, yeah. gr and also sometimes a job experience a job experience is one of them yeah. internships, internships, internships yeah. gre yeah. Yeah. yeah the another part is there is some course requirements suppose you have studied the subject in your bachelor's so if that subject is required for the master course, then they will do check the relevance of the, the relevance of yeah. the your bachelor. Uh, renewable energy systems. There are so many students from uh, various bachelors. So I think and renewable energy system is uh, now a trending course. Actually, the transition is there from energy sector is transitioning from uh, conventional to renewable. So that's why the demand is uh, very high. And especially in a country like Germany, uh, focusing more on green technology. So and there's a lot of investment from the government. There's an estimate that by 2035, Germany will be going completely renewable and the employment opportunities are going to increase drastically. The students who completed their bachelors in, from India, they will get 180 credits but to start core masters in Germany, they need 210 credits. For that, they created a qualification semester. Yeah. So we got admission in qualification semester. We, our course is actually core courses for three semesters but one extra semester we are doing to get that uh, 30 credits. So after uh, completing qualification semester, our credit will be 210 after that we are starting our core a master course. So how do I know which university is taking qualification like, semester and which is not? No, no, you it's, can't start your master if you don't have uh, 210 uh, credit points. Any university. Yeah. Any university. Yeah. So in Germany there is a criteria. If you want uh, admission in the master course then you should have 210 credits. And also I wanted to add on the ECT as part. Yeah, yeah, By default, if you have a four-year bachelor course, we get 180 credits. And if it's a three-year bachelor course, it's less than 180. And when it comes to a five-year bachelor course, it's usually a bachelor and a master, a dual study course, you'll be getting 200. Yeah, yeah. So just to conclude this, there are times where I have met students with four years of degree and their credit is less than 160. There are times where I've met people with three years of degree and their credits are actually touching 180 as well. The easiest way to tell uniuses or professors is to make the curriculum analysis document. It's a very straightforward Excel sheet. On one side, fill in all the subjects what you've studied. On the right-hand side, fill in all the credits. What you need to check from your university is the credit what is written on the transcripts or the result. You have to go to your HOD or administration and ask them what's the recipe behind this. Because to calculate ECTS, there are three components. Number of semesters, how much you have studied self-study, 
quality and how many hours you have given in the classroom, right? So which criteria have they taken to come up with three credits, two or five, whatever. So yeah, let's move on. If there is a mechanical student who is watching us right now, what possible options are available in Germany to apply for master's program? We have courses like industrial engineering, automobile engineering, and people also tend to opt few management courses like supply chain management, yeah. core courses like mechatronics, etc. Yeah. So people are opting even such courses. I've I've seen lately with few universities, if you are applying for a core mechanical program, they're asking some level of German language now. A two and B one. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I yeah, also yeah, saw this. Mostly all universities are asking B one level for process engineering. Correct. There Correct. are few mechanical yeah. courses out and there. Technical universities also now asking process engineering that courses. The reason is the most of the companies for in automobile industry they are from net from Germany only. That's the reason. So the work in for environment there will be. Uh, the german people will be more there so that's that's the point that's why they are asking for at least you have to complete a2 level and they will in university they will teach you still b1 and then uh, directly you can go for the job also can each of you tell my audience where you applied and what courses you guys had applied before coming to germany freiburg applied sciences university which is also a renewable energy system supply chain management systems in uh, tu hamburg fau erlangen electromobility course few private universities srh ham srh berlin which is industry 4.0 and other supply chain management courses etc i applied to like four universities hochschule not Hochschule Stralsund, Frankfurt University of Applied Sciences, and OVG. I know Magdeburg. Stralsund also has Reams program, yeah. renewable programs there. Eh? I remember I have filmed that course. That's why. Yeah. Okay, what about you? Bavos University at Weimar, Degendorf Institute of Technology, Rosenheim, mm-hmm. Hydrogen Technology. In this university, Hochschule Nordhausen. I got two admissions in this university only. In the same university. Yeah, in this same university. Okay. I applied for Ingolstadt for automobile engineering, Degendorf for mechanical, Hochschule Nordhausen, and Hamburg. Hamburg is mechanical engineering and management. They rejected because I don't have any credits from the management. And this university, I got admission and started everything from here. I have just two university me apply kiya tha. Hochschule Nordhausen or TH Engelstad. And this whole process me ne khud se kiya tha. Consultancy ke paas nahi gaya tha. Pahla admission aaya tha Hochschule Nordhausen se. Uske baad me ne second wala nahi apply kiya. And jo application ke liye documents chahiye, uske uske resources uh, we get it from websites like nikshala.com and it is doable. So idhar jo log baithe tum me se kisne khud se kiya application? Tu ne, tu ne bhi khud se kiya. Okay, okay. I have met. Tons of students in this country people who have done their own applications they've taken the effort to go into the rabbit hole of information you just need to have an appetite to sit down and research a little bit